Hello, this is Bloom. Today we'd like to tempt you with something new. A new oriental collection from Kana. Uh, interesting, and finally, someone is going beyond the classic French perfume making school. They're referencing ancient Roman times, medieval um, Mediterranean times, and it's fun what, what they've just released. Because perfume industry is still dominated by whatever came from grass in the 18th century onwards. So many people are educated uh, within that French perfume uh, school. But Kona had the audacity to reference times when humanity first started to perfume themselves and the space around themselves for religious, status, or pure indulgence purposes. So it's Migalium, Botafumeiro, and Ambar del Sur. Migalium is indeed ancient Rome. Private chambers of noble Romans where fountains of rose water would flow and incense would be burned and the materials to uh, take you there would be indeed Bulgarian rose, creamy, soft, there's a lot of cinnamon in that one but that mixes into the rose aroma and makes it just brighter. And of course, uh, myrrh and frankincense. That's if you want to feel like a noble Roman. We all do, from time to time. Next one, Botafumeiro. Botafumeiro takes you to medieval Spain. Uh, Santiago de Compostela famous giant sensor which would swing underneath the ceiling exuding the smoky uh, fumes of precious resins so expect myrrh, frankincense and general um, creamy smokiness but at the same time that cathedral would be based uh, amidst that lush uh, vegetation uh, in the south of Spain and blooming jasmine and other intoxicating flowers and their aromas do find their way inside that cathedral so it's quite a contrasting perfume you have the indecent flowers and you have the spiritual incense mixed in one formula I love contrasting perfumes. It takes special skill to uh, balance um, such an arrangement as a perfumer. Uh, third perfume, my favorite, uh, Ambar de Su. Ambar is actually the Arabic name where the word amber and the name ambergris uh, come from. And it's one of the best replicas of the ambergris smell I've encountered. Apart from perfumes where there is real ambigree. So, and expect everything you might expect from real ambigree. Volume, radiant warmth, bitter, woody, marine, mineral, but at the same time, ambery uh, nuances. And the story, the context of this uh, formula is Again, Spain and Mediterranean um, from the times of caliphates because Arabic world was who introduced amber to Europe and at those times uh, the court and uh, noble people would perfume their hair and garments with ambigree and other materials to set them aside from the stinky crowd they would feel very special this way. Um, worth trying. You can try them here at uh, Bloom Perfumer at Covent Garden. You can sample them online and hopefully see you soon.